Greetings to all my brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, to the flock uh, that Jesus has loaned me, to pastor and to mentor and to shepherd until either I die or we get raptured. Um, I just want to talk to you a little bit today. I'm I'm late today on the video, I know. I'm exhausted, man. I'm physically exhausted. I'm mentally exhausted. I'm spiritually battered. And I know you feel the same. I know many of you out there feel the exact same way. We're, we're against... The devil and his minions and his demons are fighting us tooth and nail in these last days. Uh, Christians are becoming hated more than ever before. We're becoming um, ostracized. They don't like us. They don't want us here. They'll get their wish soon enough. But as while we're here, they try to make our lives miserable. And it's it's sad. It really is. And I'm just so tired, man. I'm just I I just feel so beat up. Yesterday, I just sat around and did nothing hardly all day. I just I just didn't have the mental, physical, emotional uh, energy to do it. And again, I'm just getting battered by the devil and the demons. But Jesus is on my side, praise God, and he's going to win every time. And he fights my battles for me. But it takes a toll on you, as you know it does. Uh, those of you who have lost loved ones and, and, love, and lost friends and co-workers and neighbors know how it is. It's just... Um, it's, it's, it's a constant battle. You're constantly having to fight and, 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 and you, and you try to win them to the Lord and lead them to the Lord. I, I've heard from so many of you and it's just so sad and it breaks my heart to see what the world's become. It's become a place that's getting near impossible for Christians to live in. And Christians are just, um, it's just horrible what happens. I did the video I'm, uh, just recently on. The, the martyred numbers, how many Christians are martyred around the world now. The, the number is just exploding exponentially higher than it used to be. And it hurts to see. And it hurts to, to hurt and to feel what we feel. And it's um, as bad as things are, uh, people are always worse off. So people are, 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 are being martyred. Uh, the only blessing out of that is I, I hate to see them being persecuted and, and, and killed, but they were Jesus, praise God, in heaven. And, and that's, that's the best place to be. It's a horrible thing that you get killed for your faith and you get beat up and, and, and just uh, and just bashed and, and and beat down and browbeat because you love Jesus Christ with all your heart, life, soul, mind, and body. And sadly, most Christians can't say that anymore because they're worldly. They don't care about Jesus. They don't care about the Bible. They don't care about God. They just care about themselves and, and they just believe they'll go to heaven one day because they said a prayer at one, at one point in their life and People are so are just so backwards, and they're and they're so mis, misguided and, and misled by the by the false teachers and false prophets and the and the false the false uh, watchmen and, and 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 the lay people of the church, and it, it's just gotten to be such a sad place. They're so biblically ignorant; they don't understand the Bible anymore. And I hear it and see it all the time, and it just breaks my heart. And and I just need to talk to you and and, and to let you know. Just don't give up hope, because I know that many of you are in the same boat as me. And don't give up hope, my friends. Stay strong in Jesus. Stay strong in him. Understand he's got our backs. Understand he's going to help us. Understand he's going to bring us out of this of this horrendous, just just whirlpool of, of filth and wickedness and evil and, 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 just, and just bad things that are going around all the time. He's going to bring us out of this and bring us through the other side of heaven soon in the rapture of it can't be soon enough. I'm with all of you. I just can't wait to leave this wicked place. This world has nothing for me anymore. It's an evil, wicked, festering cesspool. It's a place that makes me sick to my stomach. It's a place that makes me want to physically vomit. It's a place that just brings me down and makes me sad and, 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 and makes me cry and makes me weep for, for all the, the, the people who don't know Jesus and, and who uh, purport to know Jesus but know nothing about him at all. And I'm just so sad. I really am. And, and it's just hard. And, and I know that you understand. Just Let's just stay strong. I'll keep praying for you every day. And let's support each other. Pray for others. And just and just, just hang in there. Because we need to stay till the end. <coughs> the Lord wanted me to lay, lay this on your hearts. And I did it. I know it's reaching a lot of people out there. Just stay strong for Jesus. Just stay focused on, on heavenly things. And don't worry about this evil world. I know things are bad. And I know that. Things are getting so expensive, and the economy is wrecked all around the entire globe, and and people are starving, and and, and people are dying, and, and and crime is rampant, and and it's just evil. Everywhere you look is evil, but Jesus has our back. He has a plan. He's preparing a place for us in heaven. He has been for the last two thousand plus years, and 
We need to stay strong, stay close to him. He will take care of us. He will provide for us. And just keep praying hard and rebuke the devil when he starts attacking you, him and his demons. Say Jesus' name over and over and over and over again, and he will flee. He can't stand hearing that name. His demons can't stand hearing it. Rebuke him in Jesus' name. I rebuke him, him and his demons in Jesus' name for so many of you every single day. And I just love you all, and I pray that God blesses you. The rapture is imminent, and let's get ready and let's stay ready.